Now, in acute lymphoblastic leukemia, we've been hearing about blinatumumab, a bispecific mm -hmm. T-cell engager mm -hmm. bite. What is that? And uh, were you impressed by the data that Nicola Guckbuger was telling so us? So this is very impressive data. This is an off-the-shelf therapeutic that targets CD19, not only as an antibody to target CD19, but as a way to engage the CD3 uh, positive T cells to also kill the, um, uh, the tumor cells. So it's really trying to elicit an immune response by uh, in vivo. So after giving this agent, you not only are directly targeting the CD19 cells, but you're eliciting an immune response specific to those tumor cells. She was talking about minimum residual disease. Mm -hmm. That's uh, mm -hmm. clinically not present, but mm -hmm. molecularly mm -hmm. present. Do you think this therapy is actually getting rid of those molecules altogether and possibly creating so I think we don't know, but I think her data is compelling enough to think that ultimately that could be what will be the long-term goal, that you will, you know, offer a chance of cure in patients that, you know, to ultimately get it right the first time, prevent relapse, and um, the next, you know, big question is can we combine it with conventional chemotherapy? Uh, can we use it up front at diagnosis um, to prevent relapse?